somehow Palpatine returned. Look what you have made. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? We are back again with a brand new Best Expo deck in Clash Royale. When you've got the traditional Wink Edition of Expo, a lot of times it's just gonna get spell cycled by your opponent. But when your Archer Queen forces out your opponent's lightning, they'll have no answer to the Expo. So let's go jump straight to some games and assert dominance. I upload daily videos on the channel, so make sure to subscribe so you never miss out. And a huge thanks to everyone that's using Creator Code Sir Tag. All the money makes the videos better every single day. Hey, so getting into this game, when we see one spawner, you already know there's another one right underneath the bed. It is haunting my nightmares playing against double spawner decks as often as we do. But since we have an expo fast cycle with fireball, I would say more times than not, we'll have a matchup advantage. So I'm here with it. I'm vibing with it. No, I thought we would get a hit. If we got an archer queen hit on top of that, we would have been able to log and all the spear goblins would have died too. I just wasted elixir. I squandered my advantage. I don't know if I'll come back from that mentally, guys. I might come back from that in the game, but that is a feels bad man moment. So if you're going to Golden Knight in the other side, I'll Expo. And one of your best answers to deal with our Expo is going to be out of cycle. Yep, double spawner. As I said before, that is usually what we play against when we see one of them. I can Fireball here. I think that's going to be our best answer to eliminate that really swiftly. Dude, are you not going to use the Golden Knight ability? No way. If the Golden Knight dies quickly, the Expo locks on the tower and we are up, baby. That's what I'm talking about. We were looking like we were a damsel in distress, but we bounce back. Surgically removing Surgical's annoying cards. Mother Witch double spawner, you are no match for the Expo spam. I think that Expo is elevated to the next level with the Archer Queen. I think she would be way worse without it. So we know he's going to rail delivery. I want to go in for the invisibility a bit faster so we can eliminate all the Spear Goblins so I don't have to log. Ah, that was wishful thinking. That was such wishful thinking, guys. To expect myself to not have to log that. Rail Delivery is one of those cards that gives profuse value when used in the right situation. I think that Rail Delivery has to be one of the most underrated cards in Clash Royale. Rail Recruits and Rail Delivery counter Archer Queen really well. So, I'm going to go for Tesla. I can Fireball every time he goes in for a building there, so that might be the play. I can Fireball or I can Defensive Expo. Uh, yeah, I'm going to Fireball on that. I'm going to remove that real fast. If you're going to go for miners on top of my furnace, that's smart to remove it. But at the same time, that gives me free real estate. Not only am I going to get value with defensive expos now, but I'm able to get defensive value with the Tesla, forcing out more elixir than I ever should. Okay, he's going to use the ability. It's going to dash on top of my expo, but it's not going to hit the tower. I feel like the Golden Knight is one of the most inconsistent cards in Clash Royale. Either he gives amazing value or he does absolutely nothing. And sometimes it feels like he dashes when he shouldn't, and it feels like... It's just really weird, in my opinion. I don't know. I, I don't know how to explain it, but let me know if you feel that the dashes are pretty inconsistent sometimes. Like, there's not enough spacing, and then he'll still find a way to dash, and then there's so much space, and then he'll never dash. It's just, I don't know. It, it's weird. So, we'll log. That Golden Knight is definitely going to die, and I think that we Archer Queen because the Golden Knight is out of cycle. So, very rarely do I spam Archer Queen at the river, but this is one of those opportunities. If we locked onto the tower and the rail delivery dies, that is amazing value. Let's go, baby! That's what I'm talking about. Double spawner doesn't have anything on us. You know what we do when we're against double spawners and we've got a fast cycle? We spam him like a certified savage. I'm going to fireball here so he doesn't get piggies. But at this point, we know that the only thing he can do to counter the Archer Queen is a Golden Knight. And if he doesn't have that in cycle, well, it's going to be fun. What are you supposed to do to stop me? We're inevitable. <laughs> the Thanos Archer Queen is just way too strong. And after that win, we have not lost a single game. 5-0, and oh, baby. Hey, so jumping into this one, whenever we see Spear Goblin spammed at the river, I expect this to be a Mega Knight deck. There's a chance that it's minor wall breakers with Magic Archer. But most of the time, it's going to be Mega Knight. Oh, wow, you're aggressive. So he made a prediction that I would drop skeletons or something to tank for the expo. So then he's like, I'm going to fire spirit on top of that. That's really smart. The more you learn every single time that you play Clash Royale, it makes you a better player. You learn from what your opponent does. and You're like, oh, you know what? If I made a prediction with an Inferno Tower, I probably should go in for a fire spirit too because there's no way that the Expo player is ever going to go in for a preemptive log on top of a fire spirit. People don't do that. Hey, so he's going to lose the fire spirit. We're going to force out an ice spirit afterward. He's got so many spirits. What is this cycle deck that I'm playing against right now? Mom, I don't appreciate this. 
You have a faster cycle than me, but you used an Inferno Tower to destroy our expo last time, so it seems like you don't have the best answer to us. What I'm going to do is I'm going to Archer Queen again. When you lose your Skeleton Army, it's going to be difficult for you to defend this. And we can just go in for the Archer Queen, eliminate all the Spirit Goblins, kill the Fire Spirit, shut down the Ice Spirit. <laughs> Tell me how that's fair and balanced, game. That is our win condition. It might be an Expo deck, but you already know that Archer Queen is way better than the original Archers. That is why I think that this card needs even more of a nerf. Oh my goodness. It was supposed to be nerfed, but man, it's going to be even stronger than it's supposed to be. You need to nerf it harder, Clash Royale. You need to nerf the ability, make it cost two elixir or something. You're demoted. So I'm going to Expo, and I could log, or maybe we could Tesla. There's a, a couple different things that I want to do, but if we log, and then he goes in for a Goblin Barrel, I think that could be a bit pre too preemptive for me. Maybe we go Archer Queen to finish off the Fire Spirit, wait for the Inferno Tower to expire, and then use our Archer Queen on offense here. He'll likely log this, but it doesn't kill the Archer Queen. So what are you going to do? Yeah, yo, that doesn't kill. Okay, is he going to Skeleton Army? We're going to make a prediction with the log. Oh, please just lock onto the tower. That was, that was so much Elixir that I just wasted. We're not going to talk about how much Elixir I just wasted. It was all figment of your imagination, guys. So we're going to go for another Archer Queen. <laughs> we're going to make it happen for the memes part two. All right, ability undercover. No. The log doesn't even push it back. That is so dumb. Why didn't they fix that yet? What's up with that? What's up with that? Did you guys see the log not push back my Archer Queen? That is beyond broken. And since we're up Elixir, I'm able to justify going in for an Expo and Tesla and maybe be able to finish off the Inferno Tower. If we destroy the Inferno Tower and the Ice Spirit locks on, we're vibing. Yo, you have no way of stopping this today, brother. That's what I'm talking about. The Fire Spirit doesn't even lock on. We can Archer Queen in the other side because now you have to spend Elixir to distract that. And Archer Queen Expo is going to lock on. There's way too much stuff for our opponent. And we go undercover too. Dude, this deck is so much more aggressive than any other Expo deck that I've ever played. There are too many things for our opponent to have to deal with. And it is simply not fair. GG, well played and peace out, Tom. We are now 6-0 in this grand challenge, and we are not losing anytime soon. Hey, so getting into this one, you guys already know, we have to cycle that Archer Queen as quickly as we can. She is the card that we simp for because she is way too strong in the game. Okay, I'm going to Skeletons on top of this. We're going to fully surround that Royal Ghost, and he's going to be a Ghost Part 2. He's going to die a second time in life. And please don't dash. Why you got to do me like that? Hmm. Okay, so if I drop the Tesla slightly closer, we would have the Tesla alive, and then I could immediately expo because the lightning is out of cycle. So maybe the Archer Queen is just supposed to be a sacrifice for us. Whenever we play against lightning decks, I feel like that is going to be our best case scenario. Okay, so I'm going to expo immediately in the right-hand side. Maybe we catch him cycling something in the left-hand lane. Nope, he's got Pekka. So this is one of those situations that we know that the expo isn't going to break through, but we're going to try to get as much damage on top of the Pekka as possible. So I'm going to log that back, and then I'm going to fireball on top of the Electro Wizard and the Pekka. I firmly believe that we shut this down without any damage, but the other lane, that is a different story. Oh, man. Am I going to get it down in time? Please, Royal Ghost, don't haunt me right now. Okay, cool. Yeah! That was very scary for a split second. I was looking at it. I was like, my tower is precious. You are not allowed to take it from me. You have to pry it from my hands, and it's going to be a fight every step of the way. Okay, I can Archer Queen. We know that he's definitely going to go for a Lightning, but it's okay. Uh, he'll likely overcommit if he Lightnings. I wonder if he does. Are you not going to lightning? Ah, oh, dude, I was hoping that you would lightning and then your barbs wouldn't break through and then you'd feel terrible about yourself. But this is also a peculiar situation for your opponent, right? If they try to go for a bandit and then you've got mobile gaming athlete reflexes, you go in for the Archer Queen ability, then you still get damage on the tower. And then you're like, oh, you wasted three elixir. I dropped one and then I got 200 damage in your tower. How does that make you feel? Hey, that was more than 200 damage. That was a lot more than 200 damage. <laughs> okay, I should have exploded on the other side instead of dropping it defensively, but... Rather safe than sorry. I don't know if this guy's going to have Ram Rider or something. In Double Elixir, it's going to be near impossible for me to break through. So I don't know why I wasn't aggressive in single. What's wrong with me out here? Okay, we're able to bounce back the ability right now. As soon as he does it. Why isn't he doing the ability? Why is he trying to make me a sad panda? Okay, Tower, just finish off the Archer Queen. You have one chop. I'm going to Ice Spirit so we soak up the damage from the... We didn't even soak up the damage. We made sure that the animation went, but it didn't go off. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. That is the best possible timing for the Ice Spirit. That's a pro play that I didn't even intend to do. Oh, no. That's going to dash. Dude. Wait, your lightning's out of cycle. We can use the Knight and Expo here. And then cycle back to another one in the other side. Oh, let's go. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Okay. I might be able to defend this. I'm telling you, there's a chance. 
We're going to log, disrupt the animation of the P.E.K.K.A. Expo's going to lock onto tower. We're definitely going to get a lightning, so then we immediately Expo on the right-hand side. Because he's going to have to lightning the other side. Are you not lightning -ing? Are you not going to lightning that? Dude, why you got the moves like that? Why you got those plays? Get out of here. Messing me up. Okay. Oh, it's still locked. The barbs did not connect. I can't believe how lucky I'm getting right now. So that Expo is going to do enough damage to the point that he would have to lightning most of the time. I can't believe how lucky I've been. Okay, Archer Queen's going to get lightning. We can go in for an Expo now on the other side as soon as we defend this. You don't have Zap because you had already dropped it. We immediately go for the Expo. You're down a bit of Elixir. We're going to Tesla, and then we're going to Knight. Yeah, the Royal Ghost is going to be problematic, but if we can kill the Royal Ghost by pushing it off to the side, and then I can log here too. We're going to kill the Barbarians. If you guys haven't done that before, you log as the Bar Barrel, or not as the Bar Barrel, as the... Uh, the, the pencil, aka the battle ram, dies, and then you're able to damage the barbarians as well. And as a result, we were able to steal this game from our opponent. If you don't know, now you know, this expo deck is dominant, even against tank decks like P.E.K.K.A. Hey, we got a game against Caxito. What does that even mean, dude? I feel like whenever I say stuff like that, there's a chance it's a bad thing in a foreign language, and I'm a little bit scared. <laughs> I'm always playing Russian roulette with our opponents, and I don't like it. So I'm going to Archer Queen to the back, and we'll be able to pop off. We can definitely destroy anything that you spam at me. Oh, I can't believe you would drop that. That's an 8 elixir investment after dropping a 4 elixir investment. Oh, if we just get a lock onto the tower, that would have been phenomenal. Oh, I should... Hmm. There's a chance that would have been better for me to go and cycle to an ice spirit. But at the exact same time, that might have been an overcommitment. So I'm not going to vibe with it. I'll Tesla on defense will eradicate the Inferno Dragon. If you want to go for a Mother Witch, we can Ice Spirit. We're going to make sure you can't turn that into a Piggy, and we can log everything back. Notice how I'm able to destroy the Electro and hit the Mother Witch at the same time. Not the best start, but somehow I feel like it doesn't matter. Even though this guy is definitely going to have a good matchup if he's got Lightning, there's a will, there's a way, and there's a strategy to be made. I'm probably up enough Elixir to justify going in for the Expo here. If you lose that... Oh no, you've got the Skeleton King. The Skeleton King needs to die like yesterday. Okay. We're able to pop off. You're using the ability way too fast. He didn't get any souls. Why would he do that to himself? It's going to lock onto the tower after it kills the Goblin Cage. Now he has to Lightning. He doesn't have Elixir for the Lightning. The Knight's going to lock onto the tower. Guys, we were talking about the Archer Queen being in win condition. We were talking about the Expo being in win condition. But we forgot the Knight. <laughs> He's evolving to a Mega Knight every single time he gets that cheeky chip. So remember... Our opponent is going to have limited answers to the Archer Queen if he doesn't have a building in cycle, so we're going to go and do that. I Did I waste a one elixir? I don't know if I dropped the ability in time. I hope that I got a juicy elixir trade there, but there's also a chance that I didn't. There's also a chance I dropped the Archer Queen ability and then he lightning at the exact moment, and then it just like whitewashed there. Okay, I can get that to lock on a tower because he dropped the Electro Giant in the back at that exact moment. I don't know why he would do that. Maybe we just got absurdly lucky. Because in double elixir, I think he would be able to afford it. You know what? We're going to call that a prediction. It's not just luck, guys. It's completely calculated. <laughs> We're easily able to fireball on top of that every single time. Ice Spirit to reset the Inferno Dragon and then go in for a Knight. The Inferno Dragon never has its way with us. Die, Inferno Dragon! No one loves you! The Electro Giant wasn't there to reset the uh, Tesla in time, so we were able to finish it off. If you want a Lightning, there is no chance of you breaking through, my dude. We're just going to go for absurdly high Teslas that you can't lightning anymore, and we will walk away with a win. 12 seconds later. And that was actually almost too easy. Even though our opponent had lightning and a thick tank, it doesn't matter. Expo is dominant. Hey, so get it into this game. This guy is foreshadowing what's to come with his name. He's got the skeleton, and he's like, oh, no, I'm going to die today. It's not going to be good. So I'm going to Ice Spirit right out of the jump and then go for Log. We're trying to get that cheeky chip damage and cycle to cards. If you go for Ice Spirits, Logs, Skeletons, and consistently get damage on the opponent's tower, they're going to get frustrated, and then they'll drop a big card like the P.E.K.K.A. If they do that, you Expo opposite side, and you're like, oh, don't you need that? Don't you need a tank to defend here? Yo, you can't do that to yourself. You literally can't. I know that you want to, but at the exact same moment, right? Like, that's a huge overcommitment. Expo is going to lock onto your tower. I've got Knight. I can pull everything into the Tesla, too. So if you don't know, now you know. We are vibing. Oh, maybe we're not vibing anymore because that is a Ram Rider. No, I was vibing for a short second, my dude. Why'd you have to have that card of all things? 
<laughs> okay, so he's going to be back in business, but as you guys saw, we were able to pull the P.E.K.K.A. right back into the Tesla. So if he didn't have Ram Rider, we would have probably just won the game. It was a battle ram. That would have been so much easier to defend. But this man out here with the big, thick Ram Rider boy. Okay, maybe we go for an Expo. There's a chance that a defensive Expo is the right play. We're going for Archer Queen, hopefully not playing against Lightning, but we know we're going to be playing against Lightning. And then we'll go for a Skeleton Surround on top of the Royal Ghost after he Lightnings. Are you not lightning me? Yo, what are you doing? You madman. Okay, there it is. That's what I was expecting, like, yesterday. So we're going to Expo pretty much immediately. I need a Knight, most likely, to defend against the, uh, the Bandit that's happening. We make the prediction. We got the moves. We're making moves. Does he not have an Elixir for the Archer Queen? He doesn't have Elixir for the Archer Queen ability because he's so captivated on the Expo. He didn't even think to use the ability in Trade Towers. That's what I'm talking about, baby. So if you're able to bait out the Lightning with your Archer Queen, which most people always have Lightning in their decks, then you go Expo opposite lane. You protect it with the Knight or Skeletons. They don't have much Elixir because they had already cycled something in the back. You defend with minimal Elixir while your Expo takes the tower, and you win the game. Not today, Johnny! You can't touch this tower. GG, well played, and peace out. It feels phenomenal to have the defense of a regular Expo deck and then still have the offense of the Archer Queen plus the Expo. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I hope you have an amazing rest of your day.